This August on Akili Kids TV, tuna celebrate my youth wote who are making an impact kwa society. My name is Francis Otieno Amonde and I am the founder and executive director at Kapo Vuji, a non-profit school feeding organization in Kenya. My inspiration to start Kapo Vuji started in 2011. My late mom was a primary school teacher. It's a school called Nyatwiri Primary School. It's in Homa Bay County. Most of the students, I was told they would come to school with not having even had breakfast or even dinner the previous night. So most of them were very weak in class. So as a result of that, then uh, what was happening is that they were hungry in the morning and in class, so they couldn't concentrate. So in my mind, I was thinking, what could I do for these uh, kids in that particular school? And, uh, and I was like, what if I do for them lunch? I was thinking of rice and beans, but by then I was in campus, so I couldn't, uh, the math of it was not really working out nicely. So I thought of what I could do as from my pocket. And then that's when I thought, oh, by the way, I've always loved porridge. So how about if I just do uh, porridge for, for the learners who are in kindergarten? Creating uh, sustainable solutions in terms of having school feeding in different schools, uh, working in different counties, and having it in such a way that, you know, in, in some of the counties already, we are having a model where also parents get to co-pay because fundraising is also difficult. So the cost of porridge is usually 10 shillings. So we have conversations with parents in some of the schools. We tell them, if you can do five shillings, and then as an organization, you do the other five shillings so that you don't depend on uh, donations from uh, people all the time and we have just solutions for ourselves, then it can be able to at least have kids enjoying porridge every day in the schools. And even when in cases where we do lunch as well, then we do the same as well. So they just pay what, what is affordable to them and then we top up uh, the other bit and they're able to have lunch in school. So that is what we are trying to do as an organization and as Kapo Vuji. Personal International Youth Day is just a day to mostly celebrate young people who are also creating a difference in their communities and who are trying to create change, you know, doing, driving different initiatives just to make their communities a better place, not just for themselves, but even for the children that come from those communities who are also the future generation. So that is what uh, International Youth Day means. My dream as a young person is that I want to see a world where all children who go to school are able to get a meal in school and are able to pursue their dreams because you know you can't learn in a, in a hungry stomach so they're able to pursue their dreams in school and they're able to do so in a way that is also dignified and so i i want to see a future where hunger is like becomes history in the world My message to young people across the world is, uh, I always say, each one reach one, you know. Uh, we can all make a difference in the society. It doesn't have to be in big numbers. You can reach out to support one child, support them with their homework, they might be struggling with math. You can support one child who is struggling with that. You can feed one child, you can just do something for just one child. Uh, and to, uh, with that, along the way, we're able to make a difference and we're able to reach many more children. So just each one, reach one. Unajua youth yoyote and make changes in your area. Tuma shout out yake, ukianza na the word youth to 20264. Happy International Youth Day from Akili Kids TV, Kenya's number one and only free-to-air TV station for children and families.